So do you want to see a buttery smooth hyperlapse, hyperzoom, like you see in Ryan Angle, or maybe the one in Ben TK? Oh yeah, that's sweet, isn't it? Well, let's do it in Resolve. Okay, guys, let's go through this hyperzoom walking hyperlapse uh, that you've seen in uh, the Ben TK or the Ryan Angle videos. So the first thing you want to do is get your clip. So in this case, I've got a clip of me filming a walking hyperlapse on a gimbal uh, through old San Juan in Puerto Rico. And I just kept it as steady as I could as I walked through. Okay, so uh, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and drag the clip in. So I'm just going to uh, do the video here. I don't need the audio. What we want to do here is uh, if you haven't already done this, you're going to want to generate optimized media and set the resolution low because with all the frames that you're going to try to um, squeeze into a very short timeline, it's just not going to play very well. So that's the first thing you want to do. I already did it uh, to, to the clip, so I'm not going to go through it again. Um, now what we want to do is um, change the clip speed. And I'm going to set this to minus 9,000. Uh, that's going to get me about the speed that I want, but also put it in reverse so that it gives that a little more dramatic effect. So if I play this through, uh, you can kind of see how that how that looks. It looks pretty good. It's just not smooth. It doesn't have that buttery, smooth, hyper zoom effect uh, that uh, Ben TK and Ryan Nagle have done. So a couple things you could do here. In a studio version of Resolve, in the color section, you do have what's known here as motion blur. But if I add it here, uh, you'll notice it really doesn't add a lot. So we're just going to eliminate this. And if you don't have the studio version, you can't use it anyway. OK, so since we've retimed the frames, you can use frame blend. Now you notice it kind of adds a little of that blur here at the edges, It's still sharp in the middle. So as I play through this, it's a little better, but still not that buttery, smooth, uh, hyperzoom uh, look. So what we're going to do here is now go into color. And we're going to look here in the Resolve Effects under Blur, and we're going to take Zoom Blur. Okay. Now the first thing you look at this and you say, okay, that's not going to work. But we're going to uh, make a few adjustments here. So I'm going to change this to, let's say, 6.8. I'm going to set the border type to... Um, to replicate and then I'm gonna draw a circle mask here in the center so I'm gonna just, just the middle and I'm actually gonna make it somewhat of an, of an oval all right I'm gonna set this right at eye level and the reason for that is because I want to make sure that the ground still gets some of that blur uh, less so is it important at the top but I want it right at eye level for the center of the circle all right now what we're going to do is invert it, and then we're going to increase the softness so that we feather it out. Uh, that's probably pretty good right there. So let's uh, let's start this back at the beginning. Let's go. Let's play through it now. All right. Now it's looking smooth. That's exactly what we wanted. Okay. Now you can play around with this, but like I said, I like it right at eye level. So you notice here at the bottom, you've got the blur. Um, effect, but not so much at the top, and it's still sharp here in the middle, uh, so that you can kind of see where it's going. So that's all you have to do to this to get that effect to work. If you've got questions, please leave that in the comments below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace.